One thing on the ship you should know about, there's lots of push buttons. Sometimes you have to push it and sometimes you don't. So it can kind of get confusing and you also have to really, really push it. If you try to use your knuckles, like because you just don't want to touch buttons, it doesn't work. I mean, it hasn't worked for me. I am going to go down to deck six and meet Chris at the Magnolia Bar, something like that. This is elegant night. If you guys are dressing up, you can go to lots of places around the ship and get pictures taken with cool elegant night backdrops. And you don't have to buy the pictures. You can if you want, so it's nice to do. Look, here's one. Isn't that pretty? I have so many memories from my first cruises on really, really fancy, like doing all the way up elegant nights and then taking pictures around the ship with my mom. It's so weird not knowing my way around a ship. <laughs> I'm on deck six where I know the bar is because he told me deck six but I'm trying to figure out where on deck six. Okay, so I'm midship and I came out of the elevator that says Grand Central, that is the zone. Right there is Java Blue. And I think from the map, it looked like it was right over there. Okay, so I was going the wrong way. I knew it, but the ship is so big and there's things like tucked around corners. And truly, by the way, they say because there can be a capacity of 6,500 that they designed and made these uh, zones to spread people out and I have not noticed giant swirls of crowds because I'm telling you the space on the ship is good. Here we are, Mardi Gras French Quarter. Let the good times roll. And there's Chris. And this is the Magnolia Bar, which I haven't been to yet. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm so excited to just see the menu. By the way, there's the elevator banks right midship. So you can just come right there. Look at the trumpets. They're everywhere. Look how gorgeous this is. You know what I love? It's perfectly balanced between feeling like I'm in a wonderful bar in New Orleans and being on a cruise ship. <laughs> and I noticed this morning, did you notice the atrium windows were open? Here's what I got, a milk punch. This shop is really cute, it's a cherry on top. And I showed the stuff that was in the Carnival Magic on the last vlog. They had a bunch of ducky stuff. Candy by the pound, $3.95 for a fourth of a pound. You know my favorite thing about the store? Well, this one is, well, all of them, I guess, is the variety of candies. It's good and fun. <laughs> Dr. Pepper jelly beans. <sighs> so excited. Are those it's cups? Gorgeous bottles. Wow. Crown bottles. It's like on both sides. Uh -huh. So pretty. Okay. This is the Havana experience, you guys. And we're getting ready to get in that pool. Because <laughs> it's, so it's so hot. Look, there's like no one here. Oh, it is formal night. It does have so, something to do with it. Look. Um, can we have one day um, to where we actually just stay out here all day. Just got back to the cabin. I will be doing a room tour, but I just want to show you the cute towel animal laying on my bed. I'm really hot. There's like no breeze out there today and it feels like just being in a sauna and it's so hot outside. So I can't wait to get in that pool. I have a little collection here. <laughs> this is all I've been able to get so far. I have a couple of waters and a Sierra Mist and a coconut water and I got a Pepsi and I just grabbed those because I was going by the bar right here, the Havana bar. It's extremely convenient because you can literally just whip out your card and get a water, a soda, a Gatorade, whatever you want, put it in your fridge if you're not going to drink it now and you'll have it later. That being said, you can get 15 drinks a day on the drink package by the way and if you don't use them all, like yesterday I used five drinks, uh, you can get beer. What I did was get a beer unopened and it's the special Carnival birthday beer. And I'm gonna put it in my suitcase cause I'm just driving home and I'm bringing it back for Trevon. But if you guys are close and you have room in your suitcase, you can always get unopened beer and drinks and stuff and put them in your suitcase. <laughs> if you spend a lot of money drink package and you're only drinking a few drinks, it's an idea. Ready to go. Hoping that the sun has gone down a bit. And remember, we also have the robes, but it's so hot out there, I'm not gonna use it. This morning if I would've went out, at night when I go out, I would use the robe, but right now, just a towel. I have to tell you guys, I love the Havana room and I love the Havana experience. I'm feeling very pampered. Very pampered. <laughs> so it's too sunny right now. I just can't. I went out there, it's too sunny. You know that I hardly ever get in pools. Gotta be real clean, gotta be really empty. <laughs> it can't be really hot or really sunny. I mean, I'm picky because I'm not a big pool fan, but I'm excited about this pool because it's an infinity pool, it's see-through on the side, there's no one out there, it's on the side of the ship, it's gorgeous, but I am just waiting till the sun kind of goes away a little. That refreshing time of the day, blue hour they call it, where 
I just feel like I get renewed energy, especially out here. I'm really tired. I, I have like a lack of energy. Yes, I've had multiple drinks today, but still like the heat, the energy from doing everything on this huge ship, everything, like I'm just tired and I can't wait to get in that pool. I'm just so happy though. I'm gonna sit here and use my social media plan and drink my coconut water, which is the last one at the bar. She only had two. So I guess the last one for the day, I'm like, can I get it please? It's time, it's almost seven. There's something about this day. It's just a perfect magical sea day. And the time has just gone by so fast, but not really. It doesn't seem to go by fast, but it's seven. There's no one there. Look, I have to say, one of the reasons it's like this right now is because it is formal night or elegant night. Any time that you're on a cruise and it's elegant night, there's always gonna be less people in the public areas, the pools and stuff, because people get ready. They stay dressed up all night. I thought the sun was gone. It's just still so sunny. And just look, I have the entire deck. 100% to myself, 100%. There's so many people on the ship and it's so big, but I have still, besides the line for customer service yesterday, seen major crowds or congestion. I take that back. Last night at pizza real late, my camera battery died. We were having fun. Pizza line was like all the way to guest services, but it went fast. There was so many people making pizza. And someone told me, they said, did you see that customer service line yesterday? And I was like, yeah. And I showed you guys on this video. They said that 10 minutes and they were in and out, that it was super fast. And just guys, this is an infinity pool. Look, and that is clear over there on that side. And it's not a hot tub. And I heard it's nice and cool. I'm hoping that it's as cool as the ocean water in January in the Caribbean. Okay guys, you are not going to believe this. Look, just look. Okay, <laughs> I actually, this is kind of scary. That's clear glass and that's an infinity pool. And it's right over the edge of the ship and it's amazing. Look how gorgeous it is. It has a seat everywhere inside and it's not hot. And just once again, look at this view. I'm just give you a 360, okay? Well, almost a 360. There we go. Oh, so amazing. So peaceful. Another thing, guys, I need to tell you this as Chris heads this way. Chris has never, ever, ever been in a pool on a cruise in his life. I was just telling them you've never been in a pool on a cruise in your I life. I haven't. Ever. And I stood up here and I saw this infinity pool and it gave me a little, like, Woo, cause it's like on the edge, but it's gorgeous and it's beautiful and there's a chair in there. You know me and chairs. I'm so confused. Chris was just here and by the way, it's uh, like 7.40. No one's still here. Restroom, he's in the bathroom. That door didn't open, he went in there, but then the door closed so slow and he was just sitting there was the door was just like, mm, and then he disappeared. I wonder if he's waiting back there for me. Um. Can't see through it. I didn't make an espresso. I mean, I'm at the Havana bar. I'm in the Havana pool. Sunset on the Mardi Gras. I've got a bunch of drinks. No, I saw your, your shadow. I'm so creeped out right now. Do you remember the door? I just did that on video. I said it said restrooms and there was a door which I thought was a hall to go to the bathrooms and then you went in that door and it closed so slowly and so I was like you were like Amy and I thought you wanted to show me something no, and I, I went to, to press show... it and it no. was like X X X and I then wanted... you make it worse Chris this is me this is this is the door and I'm like with the camera I'm like I I'm saw. like oh you can't see well we didn't see you I know it's completely <laughs> opaque I know but I saw are you telling me that you were I saw your silhouette go up against the door. He's, we <laughs> invaded his privacy. He saw no, us, but no, we didn't see him. What I what I meant was, Amy, look at this, because I wanted to show you how slow the door closed okay. and how long. I it saw took. you. You're, it was just like. Yeah. No. 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 Here. Here. We're gonna go back, and you're gonna see this because I'm gonna re. re redo it a little bit. This is the best espresso. I can't even tell you. How delicious and fresh that espresso is. Chris having a good old time. These are the nightmare bathrooms on the Carnival Mardi Gras. <laughs> These are the ones that the doors don't just close for you. You have to wait for them to close. I'm gonna show you an example. And it looks like a hall and it's a bathroom. Yes, but. Oh. <laughs> so this is what I looked up and saw Chris doing a while ago, ready? 
Here we go. Wait, I mean, you don't have to press anything, you just have to wait. I'm waiting. What if you had to really pee? Oh, there goes the lights. Hello, you can close now. What if you had to really pee? Did you not wave it before? Why? <laughs> so weird. Hi. Yesterday when I had to go to the bathroom, that wouldn't have worked. How long do you have to wait for it to open? We're gonna go there and look at that bathroom too. <laughs> I can't believe we're playing in the bathroom. I can't, whoop. No, I meant to lock it. Lock! <laughs> hey, come look! Ah, that's what we did to Chris! Do it again! He can't hear me. <laughs> that scared me. This is the bathroom, by the way. Wave to open. Wave to open. I can't get out! <laughs> Help! Okay. It won't come open! You have to be both the top and the bottom. Okay, I literally was freaking out. Well, no, you don't. It's not working. I can't wave them both at the same time. Oh my god, it says wave to open. I even was waving at it like a real wave. I was actually panicking. I told you these are the doors from hell. Wait, they were with me the whole time and they saw the, the panic rising. I'm like... Ah, ah, ah. Stuck in the bathroom. I'm to make fun of it. That's what you get, right? Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Sun's about to set on the first sea day. Seven days of first seems like such a long time. But I'm telling you, it's already been two days. There's only five days left. But they were perfect days. I know the other days would be perfect too. Tomorrow we're going to be in Cozumel. The next day we're going to be in Costa Maya. And the third day at Port, we're going to be in Roatan, Honduras. And then we're going to have two sea days. We have so much to do and so much to see. And we will do and see it all. If I had this, I would just be swinging on my swing right now. You know what I love seeing on this deck that wraps around here in the Havana experience? Is the water through these little holes. I just love it. <laughs> Are those clouds or mountains? They're huge. They're so close. What the heck is this? By the way, today, I couldn't get any pictures or videos. We saw the whole skyline of Havana. I never, ever had just known it was so huge and so many tall buildings. Look how rugged they are. And you can see the rock on them, on some of them there. It is elegant night. Couldn't tell by me. And we're not doing this on purpose. We literally were just relaxing and we're, we're having a good time. Going outside to the other bar. But I wanted to show you variety night. I don't know what that means exactly. It's a variety show. There's nice. gonna be a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Nice, and I never saw the sound stage. That is cool. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, neat. I love seeing everybody dressed up. Well not everybody. Whoever wants to, but a lot of people, it's fun. I love seeing them take their pictures. <laughs> there is a very big mix, as you can clearly see. <laughs> of people who choose to dress up or not and, and who's just, <laughs> just had a we just had a relaxing day and we're not even going to dinner i mean we're going to go to the lido and check no, it out we're, we're actually but, not yeah and we're going to put our rope back before we go up to the lido oh uh, that's true like it's not like a oh wait hang on it's These not doors. like we are going to dinner in it's a row true. in bathing suit it's we true we just got done with an amazing sunset right and unfortunately you know what we're not I'm ready sorry. to stop relaxing yeah exactly because you know why? We're cold and chilly, and this is comfy and warm. Where's your way? So, this is what I wanted to do, look. There is the pool. We took our chairs, turning this way for the view, and then here is the pool that we were just in. And you can see through it, especially at night, but isn't that gorgeous? Still no one there. Nope. 